Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. It seems to be pullback day today after we could identify a first five wave move to the upside yesterday. Um, communicated yesterday, late yesterday, that we were dealing here with possibly a five wave move to the upside from that Friday low, okay? Um, and now we are watching for a pullback and this pullback is actually unfolding. It takes a little break here at least um, below 2000. 992 to fully confirm this, but it seems like that this pullback is now ongoing. What are we dealing with here overall? Well, the main thesis is still that we are dealing with a larger correction, which actually started already here in March. And we had this large A wave down into the April lows, 13th of April, a three wave corrective rally in wave B. And we seem to be dealing with a C wave to the downside, which might have bottomed which might get another low. Um, that's not entirely clear. We should be close to a low, but I want to see a break above $3,308 in five waves as highlighted here in white on the chart to get clarity that we've actually bottomed. Okay. I want to see that in the short term, we could focus on higher as long as we're holding the micro support region, which I have on the chart. So why not zoom in, take a look. Let's go to the 30 minute chart. Here you can see that Ether formed this five wave move up. It is a pretty clear five wave move up. Um, now, however, this needs to be confirmed by holding a higher low in the micro support region. This micro support region, it is defined between 2869 and $2,977. So between the 50, no, the 38.2 retracement and the 78.6 retracement. Um, with additional support at $2,945 and $2,914. This is basically just after the breakout of the trend line that we've seen and observed. This is now the micro support area that should really hold after a five wave move up to sort of at least confirm that short term, the focus can be on higher. And the next rally could, I mean, it could be a C wave in the yellow count, okay, which would form a larger wave four which should then stop in the resistance area and get rejected there, which is why I said, look, I need to see five waves above the resistance area to accept that we've bottomed because any rally before that could just be a corrective rally in the yellow count. But most importantly, in the very short term, as long as we're holding that orange micro support region, we could watch for higher prices either in the yellow count or the white count. Okay. And then if after the C wave here in yellow, another four or five pattern forms. So we can add the support region then when appropriate. And then, well, then we can, then we have a more, let's say a confirmation that, yeah, you know, we can be more bullish. Um, for now, I think what we've observed is a first five wave rally that definitely at least allows for the interpretation. We could go higher. I think in this pullback, we're now dealing with an ABC structure might be this B wave is already finished, maybe still unfolding. And then probably today we see a little bit of consolidation or correction or pullback. That's what we want to see after a five wave rally. So this is currently unfolding the let's call it. It's not really a target area, but you know, the area of interest for this pullback will be this one. I mentioned it already. And let's see if we see or we, we have to observe now if we see a reaction to those pivots. And if there is a substantial reaction, it could be the start of either wave C in yellow to the upside of a larger fourth wave or the third wave to the upside. Um, structural micro support can be found here. That looks a bit like a head and shoulders, which might be unfolding here. So it's around 2,992, those previous swing lows, but this is sort of structural micro support. What is more relevant for the Elliott wave count is the set of Fibonacci support levels here. That's my update about Ethereum. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.